Hello everyone. Now let's move on to another topic that is ornamentation in gastropods and their geological history and distribution. So this is our last topic in gastropods and after this we'll move on to our another class that is cephalopods. So uh, when we look at ornamentations, so we have different types of ornamentations. So what are actually these ornamentations? These are nothing but sort of uh, embellishments embellishments or adornments so this is the literal meaning of ornamentations decorations or anything like that you know something which is embellishing adorning or decorating the shell so you might be thinking that okay so what are these ornamentations of present in these shells but yeah there are some features some characteristics some structures in shells which are actually their embellishments and they make the shell look more beautiful so these are axial ribs spiral ribs nodes threads reticulate smooth and spines so when we talk about axial ribs now what is these ribs Ribs are nothing but their literal meaning when you talk about it is ridges or lines that divide something into parts. Okay, so axial means something like this. You can say parallel to the axis. Okay, so see these are axial ribs. This is a gastropod shell. In a gastropod shell you may find these type of lines present in the shell okay see these type of lines where is the axis of coiling in a gastropod shell here and see the uh, ribs they are parallel to the somewhat parallel to the axis of coiling that's why these are axial ribs fine then we have spiral ribs now spiral ribs spiral means something you know like this in a spiral shape round round twirled that is spiral so when you talk about spiral ribs that are as same as the direction of coiling like this so if, if this is your gastropod shell then the ribs will be like this spiral ribs you know in a circular pattern so these are spiral ribs they are in a circular pattern okay these are spiral ribs then we have nodes okay so see these are small small dots they are nothing much but these small small dots they are nodes next one is threads threads you know like this threads okay we have everyone know what is thread they also called as veins they are also called as veins okay so they are sh same shape like threads okay very simple so whatever we are saying if we are saying axial ribs then axial ribs is same to the literal meaning of these words spiral ribs something you know spiral circular pattern nodes something in dotted or something like this okay then threads you have threads means what are threads they are in this shape then this is the same okay then you have reticulate reticulate means a network like structure okay a net something like that see reticulate here it is same as a net okay then we have smooth what do you mean by smooth smooth means you don't have nothing you don't have anything okay then it is smooth there are no embellishments or anything present here okay it is properly smooth so this is your another ornamentation then you have spines if you see a murex shell in murex shell there are spines spines what are spines thorns sharp thorn like structures so this is found in murex let me show you see this is a murex shell you can see here these are spines thorny sharp pointed needle like structures okay these are sharp needle like structures these are spines and these are found in murex okay so with this we have done our ornamentations it is very simple so you have axial ribs spiral ribs then you have nodes veins or threads 
reticulate spines or if you don't have anything present then you call it as smooth okay now we'll move on to another topic the last topic under gastropods their geological distribution and history okay so when you talk about the gastropods they are found in fresh water land okay so they are found in fresh water land and land surface and mountain as well so they are found in fresh water they are found in mountains they are found in land so simply you can say they are found everywhere okay they are found everywhere generally uh, these are confined in marine conditions okay but uh, they are actually found everywhere so uh, most often they are found in marine conditions or lukewarm water okay and they originated in the cambrian time now look at here gastropods inhabit all aquatic environments from the deepest oceans where they may live beneath 5 km water to small shallow fresh water ponds so they are one of the few invertebrates to have colonized the land and can live at altitudes of 6000 meters above sea level so as they can live in so many different environments they have become the most diverse type of mollusca okay so they can live even in land they can live in high altitudes they can live in deep water in oceanic surroundings okay they can live in shallow water regions so they are most diverse type of mollusks now aquatic gastropods evolved in the cambrian as i have told you before and became to colonize all the marine habitats okay some crawled over the seabed other burrowed into the mud and sand while yet other preferred to attach themselves to firm surfaces most re recently some began to float or swim and pelagic open sea species evolved fine so before they were these aquatic gastropods and recently they began to float or swim so pelagic pelagic species evolved that is open sea species evolved so these are known as theropods or sea butterflies which you know began to float or swim now during the carboniferous gastropods began to live in fresh water and terrestrial snails probably evolved from these species so they began to live in the fresh water where when the carboniferous era came okay so the uh, terrestrial snails snails probably evolved from these species only life out of the water brought two big problems how to breathe and how to prevent drying out so they solved the first problem by evolving lungs so as they require high humidity and wet conditions to be active gastropods solved the second problem by aestivation okay so no need to look here in these complex words just know that they can be found everywhere even in the deepest of oceans even in the shallow water in high altitudes everywhere they are found so they that's why they are the most diverse type of mollusks also these gastropods evolved in the cambrian age okay now another thing is that these are not good index fossils a very important point to remember remember what we saw in index fossils what are index fossils index fossils are those which have a vast uh, geographical extent extent and short geological extent so geographically they should be distributed in a wide area so gastropods are definitely have a geographical extent but when you talk about a short geological extent means that they should be extinct by now means they should have been lived for a very short period of time okay but these gastropods are even present today that's why they do not have a short geological extent and hence why they are not index fossils fine so with this we have completed gastropods we have seen their external morphology their internal morphology the shell forms the ornamentations and their geological distribution and history now after gastropods we will be starting cephalopods in our next lecture thank you so much mm -hmm.